Okay. It's a week later, and we're back at Bud Lake. And as I promised, I wanted to see what this place was like on a kayak. Got my coffee. I actually didn't have coffee yesterday for the first time in probably a couple of years. Feels like it anyway. So I should be pretty hyped here. Um, so I'm still hoping for pike. I mean, you know, I don't really have any pike specific lures, but I did a little research on what they might be likely to bite on in the summer months um, and where they might be hiding. Uh, pike do go deep when the water gets warm. Some people say they don't really bite when the water gets warm, but um, I also found evidence to suggest that they, you can find just as many of them in the shallow, weedy areas. And that's one good thing about this lake is it's very weedy, at least from my experience last week. Okay, I'm going right back to what I caught a crappie on last week. I like the, the color contrast of this uh, albino fluke junior, zoom fluke junior. Um, and I'm sure it'll catch at least a bass. Who knows about a pike, but... Oh, there's some fish out here. They're little, though. Let's see. Let's see if anything happens. I'm sure this camera won't do it justice, but that's a nice, regal, great blue heron. And although the whole, like, look where the birds are looking thing has never really worked out for me, still like to hold on to a little hope in that so let's see if this heron is good luck that was a hit it's a lot of um yeah we're in like a school right now but they're uh, kind of small six feet of water six and a half Ooh, there's some bigger ones. Mm. Now, if I was a fish, I would under a nice, cool dock. Bite. Oh, like a bluegill. Yes, there's, there's little things down here that bite it every time, but. Crappy. Well, we know there's a good spot for crappy. I'm gonna let this guy go though. It's smaller than the one I got last week, that's for sure. So that's the crappy. I'm gonna just let him go. Okay, guys. Never caught anything on a red eye shad as much as people say how awesome they are. So, I don't know, this seems a little um, camouflaged for this stained water, but got you know, get nice rattle on it, and uh, it's pretty natural looking. So what I'm gonna do, I'm anchored now. I'm just gonna skirt the pads, see if we can scare anything out. There's a fish. There's a fish. Somebody bit. Somebody bit. Feels like a bass, I think. Oh, he's going under the... Oh my god damn it. It's one thing in a kayak. You don't have great leverage. Well, we know the red-eye shad works. That actually could have been a pike. I couldn't quite tell. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Let's not lose this one, guys. Let's not lose this one. Okay. Okay. What do we got? What is that? Oh, we snagged it, but it's a... Uh, 
it's a white perch, I think. Yeah, it's a white perch. Um, well, whatever was on here before. Okay. Well, there he goes. White perch <sighs> on a snag. But the other guy was much bigger and was not a snag. So we might have a pattern here. <clears throat> well, uh, sorry guys, I think I screwed up the catch there, but another little white perch. This time caught in the mouth. Oof, barely lift these guys. Yeah, a little, little white perch. Well, I guess the red-eyed shad is good for something. Well, status update. It's gonna be another really hot day, just like it was last weekend when I was here. Um, you know, I think that was either a decent sized bass or possibly a pike. Um, I didn't get a great look at it, but the colors looked more bass-like um, when I got it to the boat. Um, but uh, yeah, doesn't that always happen? You lose your, your biggest, biggest one. I would feel a lot more accomplished right now if I had landed that fish. Um, but we did get a couple white perch, which I actually haven't caught in about a year. The last ones I remember catching was actually when I was doing the uh, Patreon meetup with Leo Shang. Um, so I guess there's white perch in here. One was snagged, one was caught on the mouth. Both uh, nothing to write home about. I mean, they don't get that big anyway. And of course there was a little crappy. So, you know, it's not all a loss and we're only about halfway through here, but uh, I want to make something happen, and I think maybe this um, this red eye shad might be the right ticket. All right, I'm gonna keep drinking water and start back up again. Okay, folks, um, it's getting pretty damn hot, and the water itself is 78 degrees apparently. Um, so I feel like it's worth seeing what we can find out deep. And then, of course, we're really going to have to rely more on the fish finder than on, uh, you know, lily pads and, you know, other uh, indicators, structure, stuff like that. Um, so uh, that's what I'm going to do now. Things have slowed down after that little, little flurry of action. Um, but, of course, I can always go back to that area uh, later. So just an update. I wish more was happening. Don't we all? It's got a little nibble down there, guys. I don't know where it was, but... I'm out in about 12 feet of water, 11 feet is about as deep as Lake Bud, Bud Lake gets. There were some fish on the graph, I don't see any at the moment. fish little perch okay well yellow perch and white perch same day tiny little perch it's probably what's probably what's out here wow he really got hooked good all right guys third species of the day could have been the fourth Yellow perch, Perca flavicens, I believe. White is the Americana. There he goes. Oh, you know I'm gonna fish around this thing. At first I thought maybe there was a chance there was water inside, like it was a boathouse or something but uh looks like there's storage thought it looked pretty cool but i don't know i'll 
I'll take a few casts. Yeah. It's a fish. It's a heavier one. Or, no, I think we snagged him. Yeah, we just snagged him. He's hooked awkwardly. And honestly, this might have been what happened to, uh, this might have been what happened to that first fish. So maybe it wasn't as big as I thought. We're just in a... Oh, gosh, these treble hooks, man. They feel a lot bigger when they are, when they're foul hooked. Okay, another white perch. Um, what, what, could you, what can you say? Um, I don't know. That was a long time between fish. Nice to get another one. Well guys, going back to the dock. Same area that is lit all day. This guy is on the mouth. It's crazy that they, uh, that they, whoa. Crazy to think that these guys bite on those big uh, lipless crankbaits, but uh, I think it's the vibration just drives them crazy. I don't know. All right, took a picture for the gram. It's actually starting to thunder and starting to rain, so this might be where we leave you. Whew. Okay guys, well, still didn't get our elusive northern pike. May have whiffed on a, a, a sizable bass, or maybe it was a pike. Snagged a few white perch, uh, caught a few white perch the normal way, caught a yellow perch, caught a crappie at the very beginning. It was a weird day, multi-species. Um, I'm uh, not, not disappointed, um, but it was a long day and I'm very hungry. And uh, I, I think I should come to a different spot in New Jersey next time. But anyway, hope you like what you're watching. Please do me a favor, click that subscribe button. Click that like button if this was worth it. And fish like there's no tomorrow. See you on the flippity flop. Peace.